Hi everyone, Paolo here. Welcome back to the channel where I make how to videos. Time to share what I've learned and I'm back with another Unreal Engine tutorial. This is part of the character animation how to series. In this video, we're going to learn how to use animation retargeting with meshes that uses a different skeleton using an IK rig and IK retargeter. We're going to use some default UE5 animations and retarget them on another character that we'll get from the marketplace. We're going to learn the following animation retargeting concepts. We're going to create an IK rig, set up the bone chain, create an IK retargeter, and fix some animation issues, create a blueprint with animations duplicated. Then we're going to replace the mesh in a third person character using that animation blueprint. Let's go. So animation retargeting basically works with two types of skin character. Meshes with the same bone name and hierarchy, which I covered in my previous video and meshes with a different bone and hierarchy structure altogether, which I'll cover today. Note that skeleton assets without a root bone can cause problems down the line. Example of these are characters and animations you could download from Mixamo. I'll cover Mixamo animation retargeting on another video. So here I have the third person template and let's go check out what assets we already have here. So I have the UE4 mannequin, which has a rigs folder here, which has an IK rig. But we're going to look into the mannequin here, which has some animations here. So we have some basic animations here for the UE5 and there's also a rigs folder. So under the rigs folder, there's already an IK rig for that uh, UE5 mannequin. If I open that up, you would see that the bone information here has been defined in the hierarchy section here. And you can also see the bone uh, chains here on this section here. So we're going to try to replicate the same naming and everything for uh, the character that we're going to use. So the character that we're going to use is from the marketplace. It's called the Infinity Blade Warrior. I'll drop a link in the description below if you want to do the same. I already have that uh, project added to my project. And here I have the following. So these are all the skeletal mesh. I already created a rigs folder. That's the first thing we're going to do. So create a rigs folder, right click and select retargeting and then select IK rig. So here I'm going to say IK rig warrior and open that up. And right now it's blank. There's no mesh on it. So select a mesh. So this is the mesh that I'm going to use this particular guy. So save that. Next, let's jump back out to the content drawer, select animation, then retargeting, then select IK retargeter. So here, I'm gonna name this UE5 to wire. So basically, what we wanna happen is the source would be the uh, IK mannequin, and whatever animation information that is on this mannequin will be transferred to the target. So the target would be the one that we just created, the warrior. So right now they're overlapping each other. You could um, adjust the target mesh offset and that should move that like that. So right now there's no animation being retargeted from the UE5 to this character. If I use play one of these animations in the asset browser, nothing's happening. And if I go on the chain mapping, nothing has been changed yet. Cool. So let's start with the first one. So the first one that we want to do is identify where the root is. Normally that would be the pelvis or the hip. So right click on that on your IK and set retarget root. Save on that. And if I jump here, you would immediately see that there's already some animation being retargeted from this to here, just starting from the root. All right, so go ahead to your IK warrior and let's start setting up those uh, bone chains. So for the root, uh, normally this is just a single chain. So I could click on add chain here and that would add that. It's auto populated as well. Cool. You could refer to the UE5 mannequin on how the bones were set up here. So for example, the spine is from 0 1 to 0 5, left arm, upper arm to hand L. So we're going to do the same here. So for the spine here, so even though we only have three spines for this one, we're going to tell UE5, hey, this is the uh, bone chain for this uh, character. So you can click here. If the name is auto-populated, that's fine. That works well. And then for the clavicle, you would see here that there's a clavicle. It's called left clavicle. If I 
click here it doesn't identify the naming so you would have to specify that manually so left clavicle and for the upper arm here up to here just click on that and say that's the left arm and there's only three fingers on this mesh so go ahead and create those bone chain cool so I'm gonna speed this up a little but you get the point So I finished setting up all the bones. Um, now, if I go to my um, retargeter here, go under chain mapping, nothing has been mapped. So if I go here and click on map fuzzy, you would see that the animation is now looking better. So go ahead and inspect the other animations because you would need to tweak this as you go. So let's look at the land animation here. So one thing I notice here is the the balls of the feet, the feet itself is sinking into the ground. So the character here is fine, but this one is not. So to fix this, we need to use some sort of uh, solvers and some goals. So let's go back to the rig here. And from here, click on add new solver and select full body IK. So when you do a solver, the first thing you want to do is define the root. So it's saying missing root bone. So to define a root bone, um, right click on the pelvis again and set bone on selected solver. And that should uh, fix that. Next, you get a warning saying missing uh, goals. So if I look at my mannequin here, this um, yellow box here are actually the goals. So goals is for that chain of bones this is the target position that it wants to go through so let's start adding those goals so we have the hand left and the hand r so select those and then the balls of the feet left and right and right click and select new ik goal it's gonna assign goal i said assign goal to those chains and it's gonna do it four times cool now we have those um goals defined and if i look here on the ik retargeter here it's for the left arm the goal has been assigned so if i save that and quickly select one of those and let's move it along so this would make all the limbs in that arm follow this uh, particular chain and it doesn't deform as much but you get the point so now for the feet the one that we defined this one if i move it that way it would still be on that particular uh, location and then i could hit on reset here to reset the post next let's go back here and immediately you would see that it kind of popped up so if i play this now it's no longer sinking that much there's a weird thing happening there but yeah it's not sinking that much anymore so let's look at other animations and what we need to tweak so first let's look at the walk here if I look at my character here I can see that the arms are clipping on the hips so that should be an easy fix so if I hit the play ref post here it's gonna go back to its original position and then remove the offset it's gonna overlay on this character and we could zoom in and inspect what needs to change so first off you would need to adjust a little bit of the arm so I could go here on the running targeter and click on exit retarget pose and this is the pose of that character so I'm gonna select the upper arm and lower it down a little and do the same for the 
right arm here, move it a little bit forward. And you could tweak this to your liking. You could remove the snapping if you want it a little bit more precise. And I'm going to do the same on the other arm. All right, that should be good enough. If I save and I go back to here, maybe do the offset again. So it didn't do much. You can see that it's still clipping the clothes here, the hips. So if I pause this, what I can do is go to the chain mapping. So let's start on the uh, right hand, right arm here. So if I click on the right arm here, I could go into the details. So we have the FK here, which is the body itself. So if you deselect this, it's going to use the character itself, not uh, for the animation. And we have the IK, which is the goal. So here we want to do some offset. So for the um, static offset here, I could put negative four for the right. And that should move the arms a little bit further. And I could do the same for the left arm, say four offset. And let's hit play. So that is looking a bit better. And you can do the same for the other bones here that has gold. So for the left uh, leg and the right leg but the uh, leg looks fine in this one so let's go inspect the other animations further so let's look at the run forward so the run forward looks good as well so I think that's all we need for this character cool so one thing that you need to also define here, for example, if I go and select the this one, this walk in place, walk forward, and I hit export, I'm just going to put this here, for example, and hit export. That's going to export this animation on that mesh. So if I go to the content here, we have that uh, walk forward animation. Problem is, you would see that it's not walking in place. And if I go here to the root motion section, even if I do force lock, the animation is already baked. So it can't uh, make the mesh um, force do a force root lock. So I'm going to go back here and delete that. So to fix that is go to the chain mapping, go under the root and for the translation mode here select that to globally scaled and save so if we do the same thing again for that walk forward i'm going to export the animation just for this example and go back there you would see that it's now uh, positioned properly and if i go to remove the force root lock then the character is now um, able to move forward so i'm going to take that force root lock walk Cool. Actually, I'm going to delete this because I don't need that. So I could go back here and select all these animations and click on export selected animations. And then I need to create a blueprint and all of that. I don't want to do that. So what I will do instead is go to the animations folder, look for the animation blueprint. So here we're looking at the animation blueprint for many, right? Click on that and select retarget animation assets and then duplicate retarget animation assets slash blueprints. So that's what we want. So now we get this, it's going to ask us for the retargeter. So we're going to use the one that we just created, you find to the wire and give it a prefix. So do BL for the blade and click on change um, I'm gonna go back here and create a new folder called animations and I want oops 
and hit OK and then retarget. So all the animations plus a blueprint will be created for us by Unreal Engine, which is pretty handy. Cool. So it's created this one. If I quickly inspect one of these, let's see, the idle is working fine. Cool. So now we're going to go back to the, let me close this. Now we're going to go back to the third person template here under the blueprint and the BP third person character. Let me talk this there. So what I want to do is change the mesh. So from here, select the mesh. Let's also go to the viewport. And then select that uh, character. It would be distorted because it's using the ABP blueprint. So we need to use the new blueprint that we just created. So I'm going to save that and let's test this out so we have the character but when he starts walking or jumping is not looking right so to fix that let's look at the animation blueprint so if i go here to the animation blueprint that was created immediately i can see all the compiler results here that there's some error it's saying hurricane discrepancy for the bone clavicle different from the skeletal mesh basically that's what it's saying so if I go under the anim graph here you would see that there's a control rig so the retargeter created the blueprint plus the animations but it didn't create a new control rig for us so so this is not being used so what I could do is just remove that and hook that up compile error is gone if I go back here and hit play you would see that now the animation is working correctly and the jump is doing its thing cool and so that's it so we learned how to use the animation retargeting on a different skeleton and created a bloop and use that in this uh third person template to replace the character cool i know that's pretty long but hope you learned something new uh thumbs up thumbs down please subscribe to my channel cheers bye for now